What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar De La Hoya slams the door on any idea of a possible Canelo versus Floyd meet rematch. And the reasons for this is that the weight, it would be the issue. Uh, Canelo has bulked up to 175, and he cannot get to 154. Of course, we know when Canelo fought Floyd, he was at 152. And Canelo says that that's the reason why that fight can't happen. Of course, we know last year, man, uh, Oscar De La Hoya said that a Floyd Canelo rematch would do what one point five would make one point five billion dollars or something like that, the biggest in history, and that was his take on that. Okay, and now he's saying it's a no go due to weight. My counterpunch on that is, people, finally he slams the door on an idea. He shuts down the idea because of weight. Okay, weight. Okay, we know Canelo has went to 168. There's no way he can make 154. In fact, he never actually really made 154 or could make 154 while he was considered a non-middleweight. He was at 155 for six fights before even contemplating going to 160, which, which he should have went to 160 a year and a year and a half before he ever went to 160, claiming he wasn't a middleweight. But if he wasn't a middleweight, he sure as hell wasn't a super welterweight because he could not make the weight. And the Angulo fight, they had to pay Angulo, I think, $200,000 because the agreed upon weight limit of 154 could not be made by Canelo Alvarez as opposed to weight, okay? So, no, he can't make 154. And then Floyd would probably make him come in at 152 like he did the last fight. He let Cotto come in at 154 and then blamed Pacquiao for uh, Pacquiao making Cotto come in at 145 when they supposed to uh, fought really at 147. So, uh, basically, they did the same thing. You know, they used their star power to make these guys come down to their desired weight. Anyway... Oscar De La Hoya, it surprises me that the primary reason would be weight instead of age. Okay, Floyd is forty. Floyd is forty-two years old, man. Next, this coming month, he will be forty-two. I think his birthday is on the twenty-fourth of February or January. He might be forty-two years old already. Nobody made his ass do anything at forty-two. You know. So that would be the main reason, but it's not since it's not the main reason since Floyd. No, dude, Floyd's 42 years old. I don't want him fighting Canelo because Canelo would blow him out of the water due to age or to the safety of the next uh, fellow boxer. That's not. And that tells me that the hatred is real for Floyd Mayweather. You know what I mean? Like Oscar had a wild hair up his ass because he had a close um, split decision loss to Floyd. And ever since then, he's been wanting to get his revenge one way or the other. He thought it was going to come by the hands of Canelo. It didn't. He beat Canelo. Now he wants Canelo to fight him again. And he blames it on weight. Last year was no problem. But now it's a problem because of weight. Because Canelo has went to 175 and won a championship title up there against Kovalev. But weight, but age has nothing to do with it. I find that real strange. I find that real inconsiderate due to Floyd being old. Because if that's the case, uh, Oscar De La Hoya is what, 46? Or he will be 46 or turning 47. All right. If that's the case, my counterpunch to Oscar De La Hoya, why don't you fight him? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's like you're closer in age to Floyd than Canelo is and Canelo will ever be. So my counterpunch on that is he should fight. He should definitely fight um, 
Floyd himself. That's my counterpunch. You guys tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.